Are you? You gonna be my slave? <laughs> yes, sir. So, no. This is what I'm saying. Don't be aggressive. Give me somebody. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse one. See, you say don't be aggressive. You say, listen to what I'm saying, brother. Yeah, yeah. You see, you got to start to understand it. When Yahusha was speaking, he didn't have no microphone. He was speaking to a lot of people. See. Read what you got. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Read what you got, brother. Cry around. Do what? Cry around. All together, what it says? Cry around. Do what? Cry around. Read. Spell not. Spell not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a very, very loud instrument, my brother. Read. And show my people. And show my people. Their transgression. Their sins, read. And the house of Jacob, their sins. He say cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare nobody's feelings. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Speak loud to the people. See what I'm saying, my brother? Do you know, do, do you know what racist mean? Racist mean that you fail your people. The Havashah was a racist because what? Give me Deuteronomy's uh, uh, young man, give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. If, if, if he wasn't racist, he wouldn't have did this right here. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. See, you got to know this truth. And the truth is going to make you free. Yes, sir. See, it's going to tell you. See? Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. We got to stop listening to what them preachers in them churches have been lying to us ever since we've been going to churches. Because they pay agents for the white man. They're not trying to teach you anything thus says our God. They're trying to keep you in the docile state that you're in. Read, my brother. Mm -hmm. Read. For the heart. Can't hear you. Read loud. Holy people unto the Lord thy For thou art a holy thy people God. unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God shall have has chosen. Chosen thee to be a special people Wait a minute, himself. wait a minute, wait a minute. He chose you to be what, brother? Special people unto himself. Uh-huh, read. Above all that are upon the face of this earth. Above all people that are upon the face of this earth. Yeah. So, tell me, huh? If... Uh, is our God a racist or is he not a racist? Yeah, he is. You see what I'm saying, my brother? You see, we don't we don't say uh, we don't say or we don't speak out of our own head. Any questions or things that is asked of us, we get it out of the Bible because he says that we have to speak the unadulterated word of God, as it is in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse twenty-one. Now. Who was the kingdom for? So who, who was us? No, 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 not just the black, not just the blacks. That's all right, you're going to get it together, brother. Amen. Yes, sir. Read who is for, my brother. I get it. Give me the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and uh, verse 12. We're going to show you. How many gates to the kingdom is it, brother? What does the church say? Read. Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Listen, brother. Read. And had a wall great and high and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates how many gates 12 it had 12 gates and at the gate 12 angels and at the gate how many angels 12 angels 12 black angels read and names written thereon and names that were written on those gates so there would be no confusion on who's supposed to go where and the angels were there to make sure that nobody went in and nobody came out. That nobody couldn't sneak in. Read. Which are the names of the twelve tribes 
of the children of Israel. That's who it's for. The name of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Right. It's not for anybody else. Those people try to in make people include things, try to include other people. That's why they made all these different Bibles and stuff, so they can try to include other people. That's why they stole our Bible from us, and they start including themselves. But they have never been in our Bible. Our Bible is not a religious book. Our Bible is a history book that is for the Israelites and for the Israelites only. Because it doesn't speak of any other nation of people on the face of the earth but the Israelites. Am I right, brother? Who are the Israelites? That's who we are. The true Israelites. We had a guy that was we had a guy that was on the bus. He was driving the bus a little while ago. And he had all the tassels coming out of his hair and everything. But he was a fake imposter That's right. because he was a liar and he hung him by he a Jew and they went over there to our country in 1948. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They yeah. don't even speak the original Hebrew. That's why when I speak Hebrew to them, they can't understand it because they don't understand the real Hebrew. They learn the, the Hebrew Greek stuff. They speak right. in mostly Greek language, not Hebrew. Right. Read what you got, brother. Oh, chapter 19. Verse 142. Listen at this. This is going to tell you again who he's talking to. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Give me righteousness, book, brother. Give me righteousness over there in the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and 25. Read on, brother. And the law is the truth. And what? The law is the truth. The law is the truth, brother. If you got these laws, statutes, and commandments, you got the truth. If you know the preacher telling you in the church that the law of statutes and commandments are done away with. Deuteronomy 6 and 25. They're telling you that the law of statutes and commandments are done away with. Why? To keep you in sin. That's, right. That's why. That's why you're feeling the way in this low state that you is now, my brother. Because you've been told an incorrect doctrine. You haven't been able to read and break this Bible down the way that it's supposed to be. Because you're not keeping the commandments. And I'm going to prove it to you. Give me the book of Psalms. Chapter 111 and verse 10. Read what you got, brother. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. It's going to be our righteousness, brother. If we observe to do all these commandments. No, just 10. All these commandments. Read. Before the Lord our God. Uh huh. As he has commanded us. As he has what? Commanded us. He commanded us, brother. That's right. It shall be our righteousness. If we do these commandments, we got to keep them all, brother. They're keeping us in sin by telling us that it was only Ten Commandments. Now, in order for you to be able to understand this Bible, read what you got, my brother. Psalms 111. 111. Keep turning. No. Psalms 111. Go back to 111. Go back now. 11 and 10. You got the. Come on now. That's 8, 9. 111. Give me verse 10. See, this is what you got to do in order to be able to understand what the Bible is saying and to keep these commandments. Read, brother. Psalm chapter 1, 111, verse 10. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, listen at this, brother. A good understanding. A good understanding. Have all days. Have all, a good understanding is what, brother? A good understanding. Have all day that do his commandments. A good understanding is all day that do his commandments. Amen. Why do you think they tell you that the commandments ain't done away with? Because the commandments were given to you. It wasn't given to Psalm 119, 142, 147. See, they wasn't given to nobody else. They were just given to you. But they want to keep you in sin because they know that what? You are God's chosen. If you keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, you are above all people on the face of the earth. They don't want you to know that. They want you to think that God loves everybody and like they talk about in John 3, 16. For God so loves the world, which is the biggest lie in the world. God does not love everybody. That's right. It's in the Bible. He don't love everybody. Look at him over there reading his scripture. Read. Psalm chapter 119, verse 147. Read. I prevent it. No, no, no. Psalm 119, 
Anybody got anything, any question, they need to come over here to the lion's den. We'll answer all questions with the Holy Bible. Read. Huh? Psalms 119. Go ahead, sit down. Verse 42. Read. So shall I have wherewith to an answer. No, no, no. Him that reapproaches. Psalms 147 and 19 and it reads he showeth his word unto Jacob his stature and his judgments unto Israel okay he had not dealt so with any nation he ain't dealt so with no, no other nation and as for his judgment they have not known them praise ye the Lord why haven't they known the judgment because he didn't give them the law statutes and commandments they are not up under the law they are base people. They make their own laws. The same way they do over here in America today. They make their laws as they go. What did Barack Obama do for us? He didn't do nothing for us but give us food stamps and gave us a right to be a faggot. That's all he did. 